Gut-wrenching reminders of what experts believe to be the deadliest hot air balloon accident ever. Basmela Yesen lives nearby. She heard the screams. Like any seven-year-old, she asked questions. I couldn't tell her there were people on fire, her father said. You can't. I was trying to convince myself it didn't happen. I couldn't believe it. At the crash site on Wednesday, a memorial ceremony for the 19 tourists who lost their lives and a promise by the local governor to find out what happened. We will uh, let them know all the details. They have the right to know that. A day earlier, a tourist captured the balloon's final moments. Investigators say the balloon was seconds away from landing when things went horribly wrong. This is the imprint the balloon left on the wheat field it crashed onto. This is how big it was. Investigators say as the balloon was coming down, a landing crew tossed over a landing cable that hit and broke off a gas pipe. That set off a fire that launched the balloon right back up in the air. At that point, the 21 people on board had seconds to decide. Stay put or jump out. Investigators say three people jumped out. Two survived. The rest stayed on board a balloon that was now on fire and out of control. Flames eventually devoured the balloon. What was left plunged to the ground, killing everyone on board. We came to save the people and the tank exploded. When it blew up, we stepped back. It's terrible. You feel like nearly you're going to cry. Local travel agent Osama Abdelghani is mourning the loss of the tourists. He also worries about the impact of the accident on local tourism. Tourism here in Luxor and elsewhere in Egypt was already hurting, with many restaurants and cafes sitting empty. That's because the violence and the unrest that came with the 2011 revolution scared a lot of visitors away. Government officials and business owners here are already on a campaign to remind tourists of what they call a solid safety record for hot air balloons. This is the first time with victims, as we have seen. And that's why we uh, think that uh, we, this incident will not have a big uh, or a decisive impact on the flow of to tourists to our uh, government. For now, tourists visiting Luxor will not be able to ride its famed balloons until investigators find out the exact cause of Tuesday's crash.